So we pack up. Natalie said, okay, the car's gonna be there, cool. So Heath and I get in the car with Natalie and Todd and we're packing the the car and our suitcases alone take up all the space in the trunk. And I said, oh, they're gonna have to call a new car. How are we gonna fit all the bags? Todd and Natalie aren't saying anything. <laughs> we get in the car and the guy is about to drive off and me and Heath are like, oh no, 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 we have more people. And Natalie was like, actually, I was like, what? She closes the door, she goes, they're not coming. I was like, what do you mean? So Ilya, Zane, and David just had to stay another day. Y'all stayed a whole nother day? I didn't, look, okay, I didn't want to. I remember the the, the night, or Zane that was, day. Zane was over it. He's like, get me to meet Kenos. That night of the club, that night of the club, I specifically looked at Heath and Mariah and I said, we cannot go out tonight because I will not make the flight. Yeah, I cannot, so Paris, I cannot put myself in this situation. Paris, Zane, Zane okay. contained himself and okay. he was, and he was like, I don't want to get messed up. I don't want to drink that hard because Mykonos, that's the place to do it. Exactly. Yeah. So he did really, really well until <laughs> well, that at, night. At the, at the club, I was like, Zane, be careful. Like we have I a flight. I was still doing well. He, he wasn't drinking. They were giving him shots and he was going like this. I think it's our- I think <laughs> And I was like, good, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and I then, think it's our fault though, because when we are with Zane, something clicks in his head. Like I can do this. I can get through this without yeah. drinking. We said the goodbye. The second we left, there's videos being taken of Zane. Just sweat. It still took. It still took like forty five minutes or an hour for me to start drinking, and <laughs> and I remember taking that like, taking that first on. I was just like, Natalie, don't tell Heath and Mariah I'm drinking right now. <laughs> don't tell is them I'm the, drinking right now. Is the group you're out partying with? Are you talking to like uh, Parisians or like uh, uh, people Parisians? Paris. People of Paris. Wait, you call it? They're called Parisians, right? I don't know. I've never heard of that. People of Paris. I think they're Parisian? just French. No, sounds right. Oh, I think they're I don't just know. they're just people, Matt. But yeah. But, uh, but <laughs> we have to label not, them. Not, was everyone talking English, or did you have like any like? Uh, everyone knew no, English. everyone. Yeah. Everyone like spoke English okay, pretty much. Cool. You know, it was a lot of fun. Um, David and Ilya had friends in town. They, they were, so girls came to our table. It, it was it was really fun. Okay. Like, it was it ended up being a big group. And, and it was keep in mind it was hard enough to get hotels. Booked. Oh yeah, it's it was. So Natalie told them she was like, "Good luck finding another place to stay because those are booked now. So you guys have to check out. And now you're gonna have now you're gonna be stuck in Paris. And David's like, "It's fine. We'll just find a new yeah, hotel. So so now we what thought. Happened? So I so I have a lot of notes here. So <laughs> I yeah, we we make the mistake to stay there another night. We thought we were making a really good decision. All, like, this all is of this is to go awesome. to that Lark Club the next yeah. day. Yeah, they, they could, kept on talking about to. it. Get over in, it. In my head, I, I didn't feel too bad. There was four of our friends going to uh, Mykonos. I didn't feel too bad sticking with Ilya and David because it was just David's going whatever. through like a club phase. Yeah. He's a little late. I'm single. Game. I was like, let me, like, yeah. maybe I'll find love in Paris like some of my <laughs> friends have already. So, uh, so we, it was that morning of and we start finding hotels. We had to check out. We, um, we're searching the entire city for hotels and everybody is booked. Every single hotel is booked. And we're like, guys, we're screwed. We can't like find a place to stay. We go to Four or five different hotels booked, fully booked, fully booked. And we're like, this was this was a mistake. We should have just left. Why didn't we just get on the fucking flight? So me, David, and Ilya, we finally find a hotel, right? So David, <laughs> for some reason, just gets a taxi and goes to the hotel without his bags, <laughs> uh -huh. no nothing. Just makes that decision to go. In my head, Ilya went with David. So they both left. I guess I'm stuck here with a bag. So I... I am, we are, tr I'm trying to find taxi and nobody will take us, right? Every taxi that stop, they uh, they want to drive to the uh, airport, right? Because driving, with bags driving and, like yeah. a mile or two down is not good. I have a ton of bags. And the best part is where they're texting in the Europe group chat. So we're all sitting back at the airport <laughs> watching them panic. Where are you? Where, I got a cab, it's so It was funny. fucking hell. It is hysterical. So finally find a taxi, right? We get all our shit packed and it takes like five minutes to pack all those bags. I get in the car, I'm like, we on our way, baby. The taxi driver goes, airport? I was like, oh no, we're going to this hotel. He goes, no. And then makes, kicks something out of the cab, makes me take all the bags out. I was like, oh my God, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Nobody will take me. And Ubers were nothing, they, nothing was they working. Didn't, they were getting rejected because they had bags with them. They didn't want it's to take so people strange. with suitcases. Yeah, yeah, they only wanted to go to the airport with the suitcases. So <laughs> I finally, so I, I finally find a driver uh, like passing by. I stop him. I have I was cash. Like, I was like, please, <laughs> please take me to the hotel. He's like, but, but, uh, like, no, I can't, I can't take you. Right? He keeps saying, I was like, I will give you a hundred dollars to take me down the street, please. And he's like, oh, okay. 
So he finally takes Damn. the bags, it's right? It's crazy when you're like in a foreign country and there's something that you need yeah. and yeah. you're like, it doesn't do matter. Whatever. Yeah, I, Get me to where I need At that point, to be. it was like it needed to be done. Yeah. I was there for 45 minutes trying to like find anybody. <laughs> and so but we get the bags in. I hop in. I was like, all right, I'm heading there. Boom. I, I like I, I leave to go to the hotel. All of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> What? Wait, Mariah, do you have the screenshot of the text? Yeah. Because we we'll have to read the text, like, word by word of the text. I like your text, Zane, where you were saying you were begging and pleading. Begging and pleading. <laughs> These are so funny, I could throw up. <laughs> <laughs> we should just, guys, go to our Patreon. We're going to post the group chat messages that would and be the funny. Patreon. Actually, just should we do that? whole thing. Yeah. That'd be really uh, funny. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, it's just. Uh, <laughs> 10 days of us panic texting. <laughs> uh. So at this point, Mariah and Heath are in their Mykonos hotel and they're sending us oh, the fruit baskets at the pool. Beautiful fruit back. baskets. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, we were, we were crying laughing. Okay, so I, I leave in my taxi with everybody's bags, Ilya's bags, David's bags, and I'm on the way to the hotel. <laughs> and I go on my way, on my, on my way to the hotel. And then... <laughs> I, we see this text on our end. David goes, I'm going to puke. And he sends a <laughs> screenshot of the three boys. Zane goes, you guys for sure have all my stuff, please. And Ilya goes, what? <laughs> Ilya just goes, what? Like question mark. And what? Zane goes, Ilya, where are you? And, and Ilya goes, how did we all get separated? And we're all just panicking because they're <laughs> separated in Paris. And Dave, David, as soon as Ilya goes, what? David goes, there's no way. Like David <laughs> yeah, and yeah, me, yeah. as soon as he saw what? David knew that Ilya was not in my taxi. So right now we're all three separate. We're heading to the hotel. Ilya's sleeping in the lobby. I had no idea. Ilya's oh been... no! And we're just, we're crying. I'm in my taxi. I'm howling. The taxi thinks I'm on fucking crap. Ilya sent a, a, a picture of him crying and he says, I'm crying. And Zane goes, dead ass, I went solo. And Ilya goes, this is fucking insane. And then you guys go, I, we left Ilya. Zane thought he was with me. I thought he was with Zane and Natalie, no remorse, Ooh. no remorse goes, y'all could be on the beach in Mykonos right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So we finally, we get to the hotel right, right now. It's like, I think 8 39 in the morning and we're exhausted. And we, we, we go to check in and the guy goes, um, we got, we have two rooms for you. Um, check-in won't be until like 11, 30, 12. Shit. And we're like, oh my God, this is horrible. What were we thinking? And that's the worst thing because you've been drinking all night. All you want to do is just lay down and sleep. Yes. Yeah. So we're in the lobby. <laughs> Wait, Ilya goes, where do we go now? David goes, <laughs> I'm by the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Um, by the <laughs> Which is like 15 minutes from the hotel. We, so we, um, they find, so uh, um, concierge uh, has a room like early, right? At like 10.30, we're like, thank God. So he, uh, uh, me, David and Ilya all have to share a bed for the next, like uh, just to sleep. So we, we're all sharing a bed. Wait, Zane, we gotta go a back a menage. little bit. Okay, what, what am I missing? <laughs> <laughs> When you when they separated in the cabs, they were all rejecting because of the bags and because they didn't have cash. And David finally gets a cab, but we get this text. My driver's gonna break my legs when he finds out I don't have cash. <laughs> <laughs> and then Zane goes, I pleaded to my taxi to take me. I was in tears. <laughs> I offered him a hundred euros to get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> in cabs. I'm fucking sweating right now and thinking the about next, it. The next text is all of them crying together, reunited.